Hi there, everyone. Thanks for joining me today. I hope everybody's doing well. Back in Supermarket Simulator, real quick, I just want, if you look up in the top right, you got some cash on us. And I would like to expand and get a couple licenses to get more products. While I was working my way up to make that much money, oh my gosh, it started getting crazy and it always got crazy after five o'clock. And I was the only one on a cash register and it was difficult restocking the shelves and making sure the light was on and I ran out of stuff all the time. The problem I'm having is I cannot remember. It just seemed like when I was doing the test run, everything fell into place. It, it was a little hazardous, hectic a couple times, but not like this. And I do not remember how I set up the store the last time. I really liked it. So what you're seeing here, I'm, I'm not happy with, and I'm afraid we're going to have to come back and redo it in another video. But anyway, I uh, did obviously did not do this live. I'm speeding things up just a little bit. I hope that's okay with everybody. I'm trying desperately to figure out the sound quality in this basement. And what I have right now is a really big, thick blanket bunched up next to where my microphone is hanging. Ah, uh, you may still hear my computer gunning in the background. You're going to hear the neighbor's dog barking. What I can't do is record when somebody's cutting their lawn. The man across the street from us was cutting his lawn. This microphone, it just seems to pick up everything but my voice. <laughs> but it was so loud. And then I had issues with Audacity's noise gate. Every time, because I always use my noise gate any other time I recorded, I never had a problem with it, but this time... Every time I selected the noise gate, my voice would uh, cut out, like I'd be, and then, so, it was weird. It never did that before. But I think I fixed that problem as well. I hope I fixed that problem as well. My background music is Attention Kmart Shoppers. <laughs> it's an archive. It's free to use. And I'll have a link for it in the description box below. But what, yeah, what I decided to do was I'm going to get two licenses for a total of what, 14, 12 new products. And I think I miscalculated on the shelves and the refrigerators. I do like the double refrigerators better, but see, there's no room. What am I doing wrong? I couldn't remember. My cash register was always at the door facing the way it is right at this moment. And then I had my extra cashier with his back to the window on the other side. And I thought I had everything against the back wall. And I think where I made my mistake was the shelves are need to be turned. And I, I know I can't describe that, but instead of them being up against the wall, like if I had turned that just one more time and had the shelves facing each other or with their backs to each other, coming from the back of the store toward the door, I think that's how I had it. But instead, I lined everything up against the wall, which I'm not a fan of. So, <laughs> it's a mishmash, it was a mess. But I do hope that you're enjoying this little series here. I'm very afraid that the repetition will get boring quick. And as I have mentioned in previous videos, I know that everybody has already played this. And I'm okay with that. I just hope that you guys are too. And I do have two other games I'd like to try. And I thought I would mention that. I have that. I think it's just called Farming Simulator. No, Farm... 
Farming Sim 2021, I believe is what it's called. And the sad thing about that is, at about the time that that game came out, this other more expensive, fancy, souped-up farming simulator game came out. And that one kind of won out over the one I have. And now, there's a... Is it called Farming Sim? World? Which is supposed to come out, I believe, May 1st? Unless it's already out, I don't remember. And I've been watching a few videos, and I don't know quite yet how I feel about it. I haven't played the first one to really make an honest judgment call, but it looks like their improvements made things a little bit trickier to navigate, if that makes any sense. So I'm going to play Farm Sim 2021, and I hope you don't mind. Now, the other issue I had here, as you can plainly tell, is stock, putting the stock on. I That's what, probably what I should have done was buy the stock room just so that I could get excess and store it in there instead of having it all over the floor. But I think I've done my shelving okay, like two item, two shelves per item. At the moment, I think eventually you need one shelf per item just to keep your customers in stock, if that makes any sense, so that you don't run out at the end of the day. And another thing I don't believe I mentioned, there are stockers, you can get up to four of them, and they're very helpful. However, they're as slow as your cashier and at the end of the day your customers will come up saying there's no more bread there's no more sugar there's no more this or that and you know in the back of your head well there has to be because i just stocked the shelves i know there's enough there your stock boys are still going back and forth and when a customer comes up and says there's no more potatoes and you look back toward the potatoes and you see the stock boy coming up with a box of potatoes. So they're a little slow. And if you have enough cashiers, you can help them out. And I never got that far. So it's kind of almost what you would call a strategy game. And I don't know how well I am at strategy. I just don't think I'm very good at strategizing. So, uh, I don't know. I'm having fun. I'm enjoying this. And it is, you know, it keeps your brain occupied. You're thinking about what are you going to do next and how are you going to do it? Where's it all going to go? How's it going to fit? That's interesting to me. That's fun. I just don't like sitting behind the cash register the whole time for a video. I just don't think it's a good idea. I bought way too much pop. And that <laughs> goes back to me going, how did I do this before? What did I need the most of? That spaghetti that I just put down, in my test run, I could never keep that in stock. I had an entire stock room shelf of it, and it always ran out by the end of the day. Now, I don't know if that's going to be the same every single time you play this game or if it's changing up and they're going to choose something else. My customers of recent have been fighting over the water. You'll get three of them in a cluster at that one refrigerator and they're going back and forth and back and forth and back. And I think that's because they know, the AI knows that you have a box of water on the floor and you need to put it in the fridge, and I'm at the crash register trying to ring people up. So it's really chaotic. But the minute you go over there and you put the item in or on a shelf, they'll pick it up and get in line. So if you see your customers doing that, 
back and forth kind of animated. They're not there. It looks like they're stuck. Chances are they're just waiting for you to restock. <laughs> so you got to be good about it. And in late game, you get, I believe, three, sometimes four of the same item. There's one, two, three, three different types of flour. At the moment, I was only up to two different types of rice. Oh my gosh, so much pop. They have those three, the diet, the regular, and the sprite. And then they introduce, I think, three or four more later in the game. There are two types of bread. So it, it, if you want to keep your shelves nice the way a grocery store normally does, at the moment, I consider this to be like a bodega. It's just a mom and pop. And we'll work our way up to a grocery store. But calling this a supermarket <laughs> is a little deceptive because it's nowhere near a supermarket. It's a mom and pop. But anyway, you want to keep all your bread together and you want to keep all your flour together. But as the levels go up and you're able to afford a new license, all of a sudden you're getting a new type of bread and your bread is way back at the beginning. And you're now seven shelves ahead of that and you've got new bread. And it's like, well, now what do I do? So you have to be careful in that regard because like I mentioned earlier, there are ways to turn off your stock boys you can put all of your stock shelves and what i mean by stock shelves is the storage room you put shelves up and that's where your extra stock goes you can put all of those in boxes and they can't do anything they will not pick up a box off the floor and add it to your shelves or your fridges but you can also fire them and that will cost money because i think $200, $400 per stock person, I can't remember. But by the time you're able to afford stock workers, you really don't have to worry too much about wasting that kind of money. It's the same thing with your shipping costs. Like you're ordering eight items instead of 10. I still think the maximum shipping cost is eight bucks. And I think where people are noticing is that like if you're only ordering four things and you gotta pay eight dollars for it, you might as well get 10 things and pay eight dollars for it. After a while that, it just becomes a moot point. It's, I need these four items. I can afford the eight dollar shipping. I'm not gonna worry about it. What I am always concerned about is making enough money to survive so I will never undercut myself no matter how many of my customers your yogurt is too expensive your yogurt is too expensive yogurt was down to a dollar thirty and I was still making the 20 cents extra and I would get at least three customers a day telling me it was too expensive and I'm like well I'm sorry love go somewhere else and buy your yogurt I don't know what it's going to be this time or if it's going to continue to be yogurt. And if it is, then that might just be a game glitch. I don't know. But there were complaining about my bottled water price, my cheese price, and I that I don't let get to me. I ignore that. Because I'll tell you one thing that is kind of confusing about this game is if there even is a scoring system, I'm not aware but you do get, what is it called, the store, store points or store, store credits or something. At the end of the day, you'll see it on the screen. It's underneath how many customers you had, how many customers complained, how much, how many, how many items weren't in stock. My neighbor's moving something. Oh boy, I can't win. Underneath that, it tells you your store score, and I don't get that. The points, I don't know what it's leading up to. 
maybe that's where you can get extra storage space or your license unlocks. I just never noticed that. The only thing I really noticed was that if you do... Wow. I'm sorry. He's scraping. Oh, no. Okay. Sorry about that. <laughs> it never fails. Always something. I hope he's done cutting his lawn, but I doubt it. I don't know. So, anyway. Uh, where were we? We were talking about the points. I'm guessing maybe it has something to do with the more points you get, the that's when you get licenses or something. I don't know. I didn't really look into that too much. But we are going to have to redo this, and I do hope you don't mind. I'm not happy with this setup. Uh, I try not to make it look generic and like everybody else's designs. And I also try very hard, <laughs> very hard, to make it unique to me. But that doesn't always work. It, you know, what you want and what you can have are usually two different things. So you have to accept what you can accept. But I think what we should do the next time is open the storage room. And even if I can't afford a ton of stock or even stock shelves, if we at least get that room open, I can get all these boxes off the floor. I don't know that I need two cashiers at the moment. I'm pretty sure one is fine until about midday. There, are, In my experience, there are two rushes. Midday rush and late day. And I have had customers coming in well after 9 o'clock. Even when like the store is empty and you're kind of looking around at your shelves before you turn off the light and close for the day, somebody comes wandering in. So it does play a little different each time, but I don't think it plays that much different. And I was also discussing how you set up your shelves. And I just personally like the idea of having corresponding items with each other and it gets difficult to do late game because as I mentioned you start getting new items that are the same as old items new flour new dish detergent new laundry soap oh man and the powdered milk on the shelf that was another one it, it, it's a big seller but you only get six to a box and they take up a lot of space but i ended up using an entire shelf just to carry that same thing with the toilet paper rolls the chicken in a freezer and the potatoes those are four to a box and the minute you get them in your store they're gonna go <laughs> you have to keep buying them and buying them so i think we need to open the stock room storage room i don't know that it matters yeah, he stole my register. <laughs> I gotta, gotta fix that. I couldn't figure out for the life of me how to do this, and I could not remember. Well, I do remember how I set it up. I just don't think I have my shelves and my freezers the way I had them before. And then I, when I finally got it to fit in here, I couldn't get in. <laughs> I'm like, wow, even the game has let me know I'm fat. I couldn't get in there. <laughs> well, you could get in, but you couldn't get out. But that kind of sort of doesn't matter because all you have to do is click the counter and you're behind it. And then when you escape, depending on how close you are to that wall, you might not be able to move. It's kind of hard. But the space bar is jump and you can't hop on top of things and get over that way. I just don't know that I want to keep doing that all the time. The other thing, too, if we open that storage room, I'll be able to get rid of the ordering computer and just put it in the storage room. The problem is the door doesn't unlock, I think, until the second or third expansion of the storage room. So you have to go outside and come into your store, and then you leave your store, you go outside, and you go into the storage room. And 
I do believe I mentioned that in another video. I, I don't mind it too much because it's pretty quick. The lighting, now that we're on the lighting, I did buy two extra pods. But the game itself, it's difficult. It is really hard to get your light, especially at the cast register, to be in a position where you can see the items that are being purchased. It took me a while to figure out how to do that, and I have a feeling it's going to take me a while again. The later in the day that it gets, when the lights come on, depending on which way you've got them set up, there's either a glare or there's not enough light. You just can't see some of the items that are on the register. That bugged me as well. But yeah, I'm having a lot of problems here because I did not set my store up the way I want it to. So we are definitely going to have to do this again. <laughs> I haven't named my cashiers yet. I probably won't. I'm not sure. It depends on how I play out the rest of this series. I may end up naming them. All I can tell you is by the time I got to the stock people and I had all four of them at once, I'm like, I'm not naming you guys. I'm not going to do it. There's too much going on. I wish I knew. Maybe the store isn't big enough. I will tell you this much. Your first expansion opens up that whole back wall right here. Well, to your right. The whole wall opens up. But then your subsequent purchases, you have to buy them in increments. And I, ooh, I really don't like those little alcove areas. So when I was testing the game... I was playing over and over and over again just to make enough money to buy all three of them at once. <laughs> and that was probably a dumb thing to do, but I just don't like those little coves. And then you got to get a light for them, and that's another thing. Every time you put a pot on your ceiling, that costs you extra in your bill. My bills ended up being... The bills were... Gosh, was it close to $40? And rent, that was double. 90? 100? It, it goes up. The bigger your store gets, the higher your rent goes. And the more lighting you have, the higher your bill goes. Yeah, that powdered milk there. It looks ridiculous. I think I'll just go with one shelf and have it go straight down. Not a too much of a fan of it going across like that, but I don't know. I think I mentioned I wanted to do it kind of the way supermarkets do, which is a cross. I don't think they go down. Like all the soups might go down a shelf. Do they? Do they go down or across? I can't remember. I don't really remember. But I think at this point in the game, two shelves per item is a bit of enough. Yes, I have extra for milk and especially the cheese. Those are just big selling ticket items in my store. And that's why I did that, especially with the water. Water, milk, cheese, coffee, and the blue flower. It just, I can't keep it on the shelves. It's tough. <laughs> It's really tough. I'm trying to figure out these lights, too. I, it's just not going to work. I know it's not. Oh, and please don't get too mad at me if they're not perfectly aligned. I try my best, and yes, that bothers me, too. I want them lined up perfectly. I'm just no good at doing it. This sort of reminds me of House Flipper. Every time I tried to put a light up, in any of those builds, it just never worked. You thought you were going directly over the dining table, and then you'd step back to look at it, and it's way off to one side. And that's how it is here. It's like, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, hopefully I'll get it eventually. Yeah, I ended up putting him near me. I like to be by the light, so I can just turn around and turn it on at 630. But... We'll see. 
things may change completely and I might have a whole new idea. Well, I really need to think about the shelving. I, something's wrong, but I think if I do it back to back, I will be happy. And then maybe cap with the refrigerators. I haven't bought any freezers yet. I haven't gotten that far. However, we are so ahead as far as our level goes. I can be buying quite a bit more stock. The problem I have with that is income. I just don't have enough money to keep it on the shelves. And in order to get another cashier, I have to have rung up my own cashier a certain number of times. And I don't think I'm there yet. So I don't want to get too far ahead of myself and then end up screwing everything up. Okay, so now we're going to go into live mode. Well, not live mode. I'm just going to slow it down. And we're going to work this day, try to recoup some of the money that we lost. So that I can do this remodel again. And I do hope you don't mind. I hope you don't mind that I'm going to be doing this all over again. But I just want to get it in order, and right now it's not. It's just that nothing was clicking in my brain. I had no idea what I was doing wrong at the time that I was doing it, and that's why it looked bad, and I'm unhappy with it. See, I was right. Now the door is on this side. I knew it. I knew there was something different. When the store is teeny tiny, the door is on the where that open sign is, and now it's on the other side. But if he does decide to continue working on this game, I would be so curious about the ability to close that door and the security and the shoplifting. Because I was watching somebody else and I think he was going live because he was talking to somebody in his chat and he had mentioned that, yeah, with a lot of the sim games, See, she's telling me it's too expensive, and that's tough. If that gives me a bad score, it gives me a bad score. I'm just wondering what it means at the end of the day, because it's not I'm not getting penalized for anything, so I don't know. But he was saying that with a lot of these new releases and demos, it seems that... The creator just put it out there like feelers to see if it was worth working on. Or they have a bigger project in mind, so they threw this game out. And if people like it, then they will dump this one to concentrate more on their what they consider to be a bigger, better game. I'm hoping that isn't the case with this or Countryside Life, because I'd really like to see things pick up with these two countryside life he's already implemented it's so cute you used to have to always go to the store to buy your little trays to put your vegetables in to sell at your stand he implemented this, this old man and it's right outside your house right across the street from where you're staying at the start if you're still in your old shack Directly across the street, he put up a little, uh, uh, well, it's not little, it's rather substantive. It's a stand with an old man sitting in a chair, and he sells those trays, the white ones, blue, green, and red, for $3, of course. But he's got a whole stack of them, and it's a limitless supply. So all you got to do is cut across the street, get all of your little thingies, go back to your patch and pick up your veggies and zip on down to your stand and put them there so it's really convenient. I'm interested in the pink house. I'm curious, you know, there's really no point in purchasing a house because you really don't do anything in it. The only reason you would go to sleep at night is to save your game. That's how you save. And But you can buy furniture, and at the moment, it's just outside furniture, and there again, you can't even sit in it, so I don't know why you would buy it. Just sort of like a decorating game that is just for show, just for looks, and not for use. It's not functional. But 
it's still kind of interesting. But he's made some advancements in that particular game, and I'm hoping that that occurs with this one. I just haven't noticed any other than the stock workers. That's about all I've noticed. But there are so many levels in this game to get through. Is it up to 68, 65 levels at this point? And I can barely get through 10. <laughs> Once the store is expanded, that's, that's it. That's as big as it gets. But he did mention in that list of upcoming things that you can get another store around the block or something. So that'd be neat. Trying to get the money back. We're up to 75. We started with 10. I'm not expecting to recoup the entire amount, but I would like enough to restock all of the shelves and have a bit of excess. Maybe buy another shelf and one of those double freezer fridges so that I could rework all this. And since I don't have stock, boys, at the moment, I can do all this myself. I just got to remember not to throw away the boxes. Because I would like to keep my supply together. I want to keep dairy with dairy, bread with bread, things like that. But once you get stock, helpers, you really don't have to worry about this anymore. Unless you want to help them out toward the end of the day. They're going a little slow. But having the cashier there is what helps the most at this point. Just having that cashier there frees up your time to order more items and stock the shelves so that your customers aren't constantly letting you know you're out of this, you're out of that. And I can turn the lights on. <laughs> Sometimes I go until 7. That's when my eyes personally I just can't see anymore it's like what is going on it's too dark but there have been instances where I have been out of the store like in, I'm in the stock room ordering stuff and waiting for it to come and then I put the boxes where they belong and by the time I realize it it's nine o'clock and I never turn the lights on <laughs> please don't be the lawnmower again that might be his truck. Ah, oh, I hope I can finish this video without him cutting the back lawn. Oh no. So what else is there to talk about? My daughter's on her honeymoon now. They're in Hawaii. Yeah, that's his truck. So at least I don't have to worry about him cutting the lawn until he gets back, which won't be long. And they did close off the two, there's three lanes on our main road around the corner. Two lanes and a middle intersection, left turn lane. They closed those two off, so. The only way you can turn out of our neighborhood is left. So we gotta go all the way around the other neighborhood just to get where you need to go. But I do hope they don't make too much noise. And I think I've mentioned that before as well. I hear it, and then when I play back the video, on if I'm wearing headphones, I can hear it teeny tiny. If I'm not wearing headphones, I don't hear anything at all. So it could just be a nervous me thinking things are worse than they actually are. I don't know. But I'm happy with the way the um, echo has diminished with this blanket here. I just, I worry. I worry probably needlessly. And I apologize if that's annoying to you. I don't mean to annoy anybody. But I think what I need to do is rearrange the room that I'm in and just place things differently. I would really like to take my computer, set it outside the door, and then have my desk and the computer you know, my setup inside with the cords underneath the door. The problem is my cords are not long enough and I did find extensions online that I can buy. I'm just not able to do that at the moment. 
and I worry that I might buy the wrong one and the plug's gonna be wrong and so something's gonna go wrong. But that's me being a worry wart. Yeah, the cereal seemed to go rather quick as well. That's another one you get three. The chocos, the chibis, and the bees. And I just want to keep them all together. Maybe that's a bad idea. Now my stock room, I'm gonna warn you guys now, my stock room is chaotic. But it's a chaos that I understand. I am not going to do the thing where this is the first item on this shelf, so this is the first item on the stock shelf. I can't do that. I'm going by how you're ordering when you're on the computer. I'm going in that order. However, I did end up with all of my drinks and water and cheeses and dairy products at the door to the storage room. It's not going to make sense to you. That's all I can tell you. I'm warning you ahead of time. And I do hope you don't take too much offense at it. I don't know. I think everybody plays their games their way. And they have their way of doing things. And that's fine with me. I, it doesn't bother me. At the moment, I'm watching. He, oh, his voice is so soothing. I really enjoy watching his videos. Doc underscore Quichibo. He's playing Timberborn, and I'll be honest, I don't understand his, his line of thinking. More than half the time when he's doing something, I'm like, but why? Well, what made you think this was a good idea? Why are you doing this and not, you know what I mean? And it's really none of my business. <laughs> Just watch it and enjoy it and let him do his thing. But I, I understand that there's that why don't do it that way do it this way you know <laughs> the urge is there but you just gotta quell it and i hope you'll be able to do that with my my stock room once you see it <laughs> i don't think anybody's going to be happy with it but i was amazed at how quickly i memorized every single shelf and i knew exactly where everything was going to be because that scared me i'm like my brain just doesn't work this way anymore and I'm gonna forget where everything is and I'm gonna have to walk around and do th that didn't happen after the first night of having that stock room I had memorized where every single item was I was stunned but I do thank you very much for sticking with me to the end I hope you enjoyed this like the video if you did subscribe if you're interested take good care and I will see you in the next one Bye-bye.